OK, we're going to find refractive index for a material. Now, refractive index tells us how much waves bend when they go from one medium into another. And the way we're going to do it is this. We're going to get a glass block, and we're going to fire the other medium is there. We're going to fire rays of light into that glass block. So we're going to fire them in this direction here. Now, what's going to happen is those glass when that, this light enters the glass block, because it's not entering along the normal, which is always drawn, remember, at a right angle to the point of contact, because it doesn't enter along the normal, it's going to refract, it's going to change direction. So we're going to measure our angle of incidence here. We're then going to consider, we're going to look at our angle of refraction. So this light ray here comes in, the top is going to go faster than the bottom, so it's going to bend towards the normal like that. Now, it will come back out again, the other side, like this, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. We're just going to look at this angle here, which is the angle of refraction, which can't quite fit in. Ah. Now, what we find, the refractive index is a letter. We use the symbol N, and it is equal. You're going to need to do some trigonometry here, get your calculator out. If you find the angle there in degrees, it's equal to sine I divided by sine R. The greater the refractive index, the more the light will bend when it goes from one medium into the other. And that's the practical we're going to do.